G'day guys, Cass here, and today we're going to be playing Our Way. This cost me $7.50 on Steam because Australian money's crap, so that means it wasn't free. So that means I'm completely free to unleash the cynicism and absolute hate I have for pretentious garbage. This is my unbiased review. Getting into the store description. Enjoy horror with the breathtaking atmosphere with an emphasis on quality sound processing. Feel the fear through ubiquitous pitfalls and through questions about your own life. The game is based on well-known horror elements such as inventory, batteries, and loss of life. And then because Steam is magical, we actually have a separate description about in the About This Game section. So, Our Way is a first-person horror from the independent studio Eternity Studios. The story is based on what can really happen to all of us. Our Way will play with your mind and encourage you to ask yourself the questions of life. There are five parts in this game in which you find yourself, each with its own point. Repeating rooms, PT. You keep repeating something in your life that you don't like, PT. Haunted house where alcohol mannequins are everywhere. You drink because something in your life keeps recurring and alcohol caused the car accident. Mannequins are trying to wake you up. Scared so you don't go crazy and live on. A cellar where you can see a mutant that is frozen and creating those mannequins. Maze. You don't know what you want in life. You can't find your place. Hospital. Your last chance to wake up from a bad dream. You will find out what will happen at the end of game. If that store description did not win you over into thinking that this is pretentious garbage, just let me unmute the game because so far I haven't had it playing through OBS at all. So we're just going to turn the speakers on and... Died and yelled at the pranksters to try it again. I shut the door and waited behind it, hands on the doorknob, ready to throw the door open. So what that is, is somebody's creepy story that they voiced with one of those bad police synths put on a two minute loop over the title screen. And you probably won't be able to see it, but I'll put up a screenshot where in the bottom right corner before the loop begins, it says that this horror story on the title screen is in no way related to the game, but is real. So that's exciting. I'm gonna stop posturizing now. We're going to see what this experience is going to be like that since it's promised to cover every single trope, but do them better. Okay. What the fuck? We're in for it now, aren't we? I think the game just crashed. <coughs> nope, okay. It was just a very long loading screen. Then what do I have in my voice? What do you mean, what do you have in your voice? Okay, one sec. We got it. We need some subtitles, right? We've got subtitles. Definitely have subtitles. Skin weight. Unlimited? I have never seen... Okay, we've got unlimited skin weight, but we don't have subtitles. Good to know. Um... You just come from outside, yes, but why would we want to be inside, and why are we so damn short? We really are that short, okay. Um, so, you probably know by now I do not normally like to be that... This is the looping hallway, isn't it? This hallway right here is the looping one, isn't it? I, I don't normally like to be that cynical in my intros. I don't normally like to, uh, I like to have some jokes. I don't normally like to absolutely rip into something. But after reading through the store description about five times trying to understand it, and then turning on the game to record it and being assaulted with the real horror story that is in no way related to the game by its own admission, but is super spooky and should definitely be paid attention to, looping non-stop, I kind of gave up. So now you're stuck with me being are those, is that toilet paper? Maybe it's scented candles. Now you're stuck with me being slightly ornery, but you know, we're used to me being slightly ornery by now. How does the door just... Okay, this is great. I'm stuck on the first room still. Is that always tilted? Oh, we can... Damn, we can jump. Okay. Try not to glitch myself out of this game. I guess the game doesn't look bad, but it would be really nice if we had... What? Are we ri- So, contrary to what you're probably thinking right now, you may be thinking, oh no, they scared him. The what was actually to how the door control works. So, I opened the door by pressing E, and then you saw me moving around and how the red bubble didn't disappear. I then left-clicked, and dragged, nothing happened. Then I double clicked while holding E and the door opened. So I'm not sure if you just had to press E enough times. 
but it worked. I can also hear. I can hear the radio from the previous room. Really wish I didn't leave that thing on there. That one opened by itself. And that radio turned on by itself. Okay, do we, is this what we do now? We're just going to keep running straight through the game. The light turned on. Oh no, someone's knocking. We're going to do PT, but we're going to do it right. Damn, Damn it. it. I need a key. Damn, Damn, Damn it. I need a key. Damn it. Damn it. Horror game is just really my passion. Graphic design, my passion. Horror game, my passion. Damn it, I need a key, my passion. Oh, I can take apples. And bananas. Was there apples and bananas in the previous rooms? A banana is an edible fruit which can heal 10 HP when you eat it. We've got a HP system. Context menu. Shortcut. So behind the banana is bound to one. An apple is a sweet edible fruit which can heal 5 HP when you eat it. Well, that sounds like shit, so we're binding that to two. Glad we did that. So we need a key. Ah, there he is. Great. Why does every sound effect Damn, loop over itself? It's awful dark, but I swear I see a flashlight on the couch. A, a what on the couch? Excuse me? I'm too dead. You know, it's, it, the game looks okay-ish, but the voice acting is horrific, and the design, <coughs> the design is just god-awful. Yeah. What? And I'm running out of flashlight. Okay, so we need to stop doing that. Um, really glad I paid seven dollars fifty for this one, eh? Um, key. Yep, key. Cool. Journey continues. Well, now that I know what precedence we have. And the exact experience we can expect to achieve playing jump scare horror spoop. Oh, we've got a battery. I have carbonated soft drink which can heal 10 HP. So a soft drink is as healthy as a banana. Okay, what about the med kit? Heals 50 HP. Why am I even shortcutting this? This is a joke. Okay, so let's just eat banana. Okay, this is eating the apples. I don't think we need the apples. What I need though is the battery. Because this... Let's go on. We can't just press R. Do we need to actually combine? Oh my. Inventory management in horror games is... You know, I almost congratulated the game for doing something interesting by having two peering white eyes there, but it looks like it's just an urn. Yeah, just the candles or something. Cool. That was almost an interesting design choice. Hey look, there's a battery there. Uh-oh, Raggy. They played the loud noises at me again. Thank you, door. Don't know why you need to do that twice. I'm... Um, <laughs> so far, the most interesting part of this game for me has been the respawning banana and apple. Do you think it was easier to do it like that? To just have a room copy and paste it over and over again? Or did someone individually place the apples and bananas down in each room? Are we going to get another jump scare? Please what? Huh? Please what? Oh, almost broke the game doing that, so I won't continue. Bang, bang, bang. Can we... I wonder if we can go back and actually open the door. No. It's PT. You can't go backwards. There's only one way to go. Open the door. Get on the floor. Where's my jump scare? I paid seven dollars fifty to experience it. If you can't tell, loud noises cause me to go full bravado mode. Where those things go? I agree. 
it we almost had actual development in a PT game. We almost had something change in a PT game. I was so excited for it. And then they just removed it all. Are you going to do it again? Nope. So what happened to the TV then? Cool. Open. I didn't ask for you to open into me. I just wanted to be able to... These batteries. Uh, where'd you buy these? Discount is all hell. Oh no, it's a photo that's got grayscale terrifying great now it's locked what are we gonna do do we have to look through all of this garbage maybe this is when they get inventive and want us to go the other way okay well shock horror we have oh great good so we have limited battery extremely limited battery and what I just picked up a key. Was it a key to the opposite door or did they respawn the key by accident? But I definitely picked up a key that was there. The torch is basically useless now because it's so low on battery that it is just not giving off any light. Uh, see that's the torch on right now for the three seconds left of battery. Great. So interesting design. Not sure I can get behind it. I can't see anything, so what was that sniff? Have I accidentally triggered the next room's jump scare? Okay. A vent. I'm not sure how I ever would have did I I can't tell if I'm clipping myself into the ceiling. What is happening? It says press E to use, so I'm pressing E. I'm left clicking as well. Premium gameplay. Where am I? Is did I just witness the scene? I think I witnessed the scene. So I'm pressing E. I'm very much pressing E right now. I think I'm stuck halfway in between the vent. See the problem right now is if I am in the vent and the lights aren't on, I can't actually tell if I'm in the vent. No, so I'm down the side of the vent. But I can't move. What the fuck? What do I have in my voice? So yeah, that door was just meant to be pushed open. For those of you that were still wondering. They just didn't bother telling us that. But every single other door either opens by itself or opens when you press E. So... Okay, so there's definitely keys here for some godforsaken reason. Oh, so this door was locked, but the keys respawn. Do the keys respawn? No, so how the heck did I get through this door to begin with? The plot thickens. Oh, there were crates stacked here, but how would I ever be able to tell? Okay, let's ignore the use symbol for now and just see if I can crawl in there myself. Okay, I definitely can't. So now we're going to use. You can go prone. Press C to go prone. Who has... What do you want, huh? Ugh. I'm getting awfully chav in my anger. So, trust me, it is a healthy coping mechanism. Okay, look, we got him one with one jump scare after all this. After he spent 15 minutes pressing every button on his keyboard and questioning the reality of why proning exists in a horror game. We got him with one jump scare. Sure. Haunted house. What will be next? Oh, it, it's actually a haunted house. Ugh. Okay. Hot take for a minute. Jump scares are god-awful, and if you're going to put any in your game, do not put four in a row within three seconds of each other. Because the first one, yeah, probably won't get them. The second one, probably will because they don't expect two in a row. Numbers three and four, yeah, you're going to seem like a bit of a dickhead. Doge. It's like Vogue, but for Doge. The closest thing to entertaining this game has become. Seriously, why is my character so short? Am I still prone? Nope, this is prone, so who knows. 
Can anything in this game kill me? There was a health system. Is that a mushroom? Is everything in this game one giant asset? Well, I'm not moving about right now. So, I'm going to make the horrific assumption that they've tried to put an enemy in this game. Which, if he was in said game, he'd have to be upstairs right now, because we just checked downstairs. Also, my torch is out of battery, but literally can't be, because I just reloaded the damn thing. Inventory management is an aspect of horror that everyone can get behind. Okay, so... Not a Weeping Angel character? Hmm? No? We aren't doing that trope? You've got mannequins in your game, but you didn't trope them up like this? You really want me to believe that? Sure. I don't actually know the objective or anything that we're looking for. And I really need to be using my torch less because they give us very few batteries to work with. And the battery indicator is pretty much useless. Because in reality, it only lasts about half the time that's displayed. And the rest of it is so, so dim, it is basically unusable. I don't know what I'm looking for. So, that's a... Uh, Making this rather difficult. I guess the footsteps were just spooks. Because why would they bother programming in an actual enemy and they can just spook? So the TV is the thing that was hearing through the wall. Great. Okay. Door. So we're looking for a key. Is that a joke? That we're all on a massive key hunt? Why are they giving me so many batteries in this area? Is it. Oh, yes, please. Horror section. Right here. Calling it. If I was going to put a key anywhere, it'd have to be right here. There's a creepy rocking chair. That's that's just hard development 101. Oh no, there's upside down. Yikes. A bit heavy handed, aren't we? Oh, I thought that was a cat for a second. Jeez. I was almost actually worried. Why is that so loud? The game is actually turned down to 75% because I couldn't get through the uh, menu. What are we even calling that? The posturizing in the main menu? Yeah, might as well. Is that audio going to stop? No, that's a loop. It just looped. Oh, you... Did I... No, I did not just get myself stuck. Yeah, the power of proning, that's why they included it. So they couldn't get the collisions right, so this is the workaround. Game, I'm gonna be honest. You're a few seconds away from getting the old mute. Are we done? It sounds like it is right on top of me, but I have 360 to about a billion times, and that is not true. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to reduce the volume if it starts crying again. Is it just one of the ambient sounds? Is that the joke that I'm missing? Why is there so many grayscaled photos all over the damn place? Stupid question. Grayscale photos are spooky, right? It like so that's the that's the outside of the map. You can just stick your head outside the map. Okay, so that's obviously not where we need to go. Good to know this game was made with a lot of tender love and care. So the real excitement for me is that we currently have been awarded the information that there's a locked door, allegedly the existence of a key, 
And the only way we're getting out of here is through that door. But the only way we're ever going to have a chance of finding that key is with a flashlight, which we have extremely limited batteries left. And I have not seen anything about a key or clues to a key. Oh, if you can see me, I hope you can kill me because Jesus Christ. Ambience. Is the ambience tied to each room? Is the door not locked and I'm just meant to experience each room to its spooky conclusion? What is out there? That's just a window, but why did it have weird lighting? Oh. So you see, a good idea in this situation would to be would to be geez, would be to have the ambient crap that keeps blasting through my speakers actually be tied to anything, and give me a direction to where I'm supposed to be looking. Because currently, it's time. To it's time. Go. Yes, time to go. I hear that. I can understand that. Is the door open? Let's go. Why is everything pitch black now? Great. So I'm assuming it's turned out all the lights. Because we can't see. Get it? I'm a detective. Uh, so we're meant to have a torch. We failed that experiment. By not having a torch. Did it just teleport us? Nope. This is definitely where we were before. It just turned out all the torch, all the lights on the bottom level. Which is a problem. Because the bottom floor is the one with all the doors on it. Okay, work with your means. Maybe they were smart enough to put something up here. It looks like there's a giant wall formed where there wasn't one before. I can't tell if I clipped through something or... Okay, there. It did not look like this before. It looks like the lighting engine has had a mental breakdown. Oh yes, the candles have moved. That means that we could be engaging in gameplay. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on. Spook. Oh. Yes, open the door, please. At this point, I'll cop... Maybe I'll cop a jump scare? Still 50-50 on that one. Just give me something to do. You know, when they said that there was PT sections of the game, I didn't think it was the entire game. See, I can't tell if that sounds something that I'm meant to be investigating, or if that's just another ambient noise that'll eventually time out and cause something to happen. Because everything else in this game has just been an ambient noise that eventually times out. I don't even trust that I'm currently using the doors correctly because none of the other doors have been consistent within their own logic so far. Some of them just open, some just stay shut, some you have to actually physically smash your head into without pressing E to open. So how the heck are you meant to trust- Why Oh, yep. Because you, you haven't given me a way out, you absolute donkey! Sorry, I didn't mean to get so offensive. I think I've hurt its feelings. Gonna open the door yet? No. Is that basically when they got sick and tired of looping it and they decided to leave that and now they've turned off the sound and they're hoping that I'm gonna accidentally run into the way out? So yeah, one of the only posts on the game's discussion boards on Steam was by one of the admitted friends of the developer who posted a full gameplay thing. And not gonna lie, I have never been so thoroughly tempted to cheat because this is just garbage. Like, do I wanna go upstairs where the visibility is even worse? Yep, that's a sound. Good work. What about this? Do we have sounds in here? We don't know why the floorboards are a different colour. Wait, the rocking chair, yes. Oh, no. Gotcha there, guys. Wasn't actually rocking. Mm -hmm. 
well of our, well out of our animation budget to make the chair rock. I I didn't even see what that was. You know what? The door was not here. Just shut up and open the damn thing, mate. No one cares if the door wasn't here. Oh, if I hold E on it, I can't actually use the mouse. So are we do are we back to this thing where the door kind of opens with the mouse, or you know, after all that, I didn't even cheat. Who cares if someone's here? We've just been jump scared by like seven different things. I don't think we get a choice. There's a door there now. Great. So what, do we just go upstairs again? With my no battery? Okay. You're starting to get scared now. Why? Yeah. What now? Just now? They've locked this door. Is there a door over here now? Okay, thankfully they have locked me in this room, so that means it is on them to create any gameplay. Please don't let me into this room. Why did you have to let me into the room with the bad lighting? Why couldn't you just let me into the normal room? If the key's back in the room with the bad lighting, I'm gonna lose it. I couldn't even tell what I was looking at! I didn't even get jumped down. So I'm getting a bit irate. I'm trying to let it off through other forms of emotions, but it's really just not working out. Where is it? It being the key, by the way, because I can guarantee you the developer is... And I'm, the insults are going to start flying. The developer is enough of a twat that they would have definitely put the key in the low-light environment. There it is. Finally. I thought I'd check there, but apparently not. Please don't tell me that this key just goes back into the haunted house. Just let me out. Yeah, I get it, the sound effect loops because I pressed E more than once. Shoot me. Okay, one more jump scare. You get once more. You try and blow my eardrums out again, it's done. You're getting put down to a reasonable volume level. Why is there gale force winds inside a haunted house? I guess I just start whining about it now. Not like I haven't been already doing that. Um, so one of the things that you try and do in horror games is you make the sound mean something. If you just, if you only use the sound with the intent to scare the player, they start tuning out all sounds. And they stop paying attention. And so then your guiding light of horror, and by extension your guiding light of actually giving the player any idea what the hell they're trying to do, is ruined because they know they're essentially just playing an on-rails jump scare game and all sound only serves the purpose of lulling you into a false sense of security before by you know being quiet and then blaring at you a single battery no inventory space how did i get this why is food randomly appearing in my inventory okay so we have one single battery to try and work this game out which is about three seconds of fucking light. Did you just eat my battery and not give me any light? Ah, uh, yes. The old fashioned go F yourself strategy. A classic. Drop the torch. So I just dropped it. You found. Ah, uh, yes, a duping bug. Hmm. Makes you think. <laughs> Makes you think. Really? So they never intended for you to ever actually drop the flashlight. So rather than just program it so you don't drop the flashlight, they programmed it so one would constantly reappear in your inventory if you dropped them. Which gives you the quite spectacular ability to just dump flashlights for as long as you want and I don't think those will disappear so I now have infinite platforming potential but none of the flashlights have any battery and I also have one less inventory space huh. kind of detracts on the entire whole thing doesn't it if I can't find a way out of this little haunted house shindig, 
I am going to try and crash the game by dumping flashlights. Just going to put that out there. I'm convinced that the game is bad enough that it will actually crash if I dump enough flashlights as well. I guess we just risk upstairs. From find upstairs, jeez. There we go. So it seems. Oh, do we go down here? Just take me back to the second floor where there's lights. I don't remember if the third floor had a fireplace. I'm, and why is the flashlight thing stuck on the bottom? I really knack at this one. Okay. So that was on the back wall of where, yep, and then down here. And those mannequins just teleported. Hey guys, did you want to see my flashlight collection? Really proud of it, in fact. Been collecting a lot of them. Nah, they don't care. Cool. So, uh, just jump scare me. Come on, stop messing about. You want some? I'll give it you. So, I think how the game works, at least how the haunted house section works, is it selects a room, and by selects I mean the developer selected a room. This door. No. The developer selected a room that the sound is coming from quote unquote and your job is to find that room otherwise the game won't continue and that's it the sound doesn't actually permeate from the room and it's got no form of actual directional sound so you just basically check every single room constantly and that's it and you just keep doing that until the game allows you to continue until it's like hey well you've done enough you've checked enough rooms it can continue we'll allow it so in theory it should be on the floor with all the mannequins, like they're guarding me straight to the bottom but they aren't guarding me to a certain... Like, is there a mannequin stopping me from getting on the stairs now? I think there is, I can see kind of a hand. So they're guarding me down to, excuse my flashlight collection, sorry mannequins, the bottom here. But then they aren't really guarding me to a door, but if they are, I can't tell. Really exciting stuff that I'm going to be one of the first people to uh, review this game by the way. Like, I had 11 reviews on the Steam Store page, but from what I could tell, or from the few that I've read, none had a YouTube channel linked. So we're really breaking new ground with our, uh, whatever we call this. Is this the cellar? Please do not make me navigate a basement portion that I have not seen before in the pitch black with no flashlight. That would be very not cool. I have no idea what I was just walking against. Okay, so yeah, th this was a doorway. It's a basement. Okay, I need to be able to judge if I'm actually getting anywhere. So I'm going to walk forward to like five seconds and walk backwards and see how long it takes me. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. And one, two. Okay, so it's not deep. So it's a cupboard of some description. There's meant to be something in here, I'm sure, but I just can't pick anything up. Probably would be great if I had a flashlight. Hey, I'm throwing in the towel. So. The guy that I'm watching, and I'm sure I don't want to name him and shit talk him, and I don't feel like mentioning the guy is entirely worth it since he's friends with the developer and that's why he knew what he was doing. The first 10 minutes of the 20 minute video are entirely taken up with the hallway section, the PT clone that we walked through. That means the haunted house is as basic as I said it was. It is just a catch and release. It plays a sound, you run to the room, and then it triggers the next sound, and the location progresses. This is... Okay, I'm not actually going to spoil the entire game for myself. Spoil. It is a... Oh my... No way. Okay, so... I can't... Unless I play through this entire game again, I can't show you. They've put the ceiling of the basement so low that you have to crouch to get down is why I couldn't make any progress. So we're just going to crouch the entire way and keep walking forwards. There was light at the end of the basement, so I'm really hoping that by some miracle... Yep. Yep. No way. There was light. Was. Oh my... Who? Who thought this was a good idea? So... 
just to confirm, I get the feeling we're going to use the guard again after that joke. But just to confirm what the guide, the guy who's mates with the developer did, who knows the ins and outs of this game, he attempted to... <laughs> what is that? What is making that noise? Is that too advanced? Do I need to hear that noise a certain insane number of times? Attempted to use console commands to no clip, realized he couldn't, and then just ran around waiting for the next sound event to trigger. So that's intended. The absolute joke. Is, is that my own shadow in third person? That is, yeah, that's how shadows work. Okay. He also only used the torch when he got stuck and needed to analyze what he was actually stuck on. Stuck on like geometry wise, like textures and barrels leaning out where they're not meant to be. So apparently there's a banister with a flight of stairs here that you need to walk this way back and... How are you meant to do this without a... Please don't. Just, just give me something. I feel like Rory in that one episode where he got dumped down with the weeping angels and had to go with toxic matches trying to work everything out and making really specific Doctor Who references to try and compensate for how bad this experience is. I'm sorry. How? I'm sorry. Everybody has to tolerate this. But where do I go from it? Just, just show me the way, developer friend. Oh, so you know the part where they advertised there was a five part game and part four was a maze. That's where the stairs lead. I'm about to have to navigate through a maze with no light right here's the amazing part that we couldn't see before feast your eyes upon house design 101 even though our character is an absolute midget because he's somehow not able to walk off stairs correctly we bonk our head on that and we have to crouch under it incoming maze section get excited What is that? Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that is. It's a wall that only exists in... So you can see the exit of the walls, but... How do you... I don't even know how to critique that, like... Did he play his game? I mean, I can't blame him for not, obviously. Like... Given... Given what we're experiencing right now, I cannot blame him for not playing his game. But, uh, well, I mean, I can. The idea is you should. But, are all the walls one ways? Like, the reverse of every single wall doesn't exist visually, but is actually meant to be there? Did I just back up through a wall that doesn't exist? And I was meant to solve this without batteries, huh? Right. Yes, my achy breaky heart is balked. Okay, we solved a maze, I guess, and I only accidentally cheated on half of it when I was trying to originally figure out how the hell to leave the haunted house. That's great, so new stuff, right here. Fresh and unseen. Whatever the heck that's meant to be, probably just glass. Yep. This map is definitely a possible... I'm sure this is the Unreal Engine, but my brain's telling me Unity Asset, but it's an Unreal Engine game, so... Where should I go? Who... who knows? That's the thing with hospitals, they're designed like mazes to keep the patients in and health caring. Trust me, big brain. Turn on your torch, thank you. In here... Still nothing. Next one. Also nothing. Well, glad we did that. And we already know what the twist is. It's not an elevator that doesn't work. That's not meant to be the twist. What is oh, this here? is the right way to go. The far off the corner staircase. Okay, sure. In the pitch black. Right. Okay, I couldn't even see what was meant to jump scare. Oh, it was just a mannequin. I couldn't even. I was about to say, I couldn't even see with mannequin. Be here anymore. The twist is everything was a dream and the jump scares are about to get a whole lot worse so prepare yourselves. Cool. Yep. Yep. Lay it on thick. This is the last chance you've got. Get up!
Great. Anything more to add? Beautiful. Do we have a twist? Is this the end? I'm going to assume this is the end. Somebody gave you 250 euros. I never thought I would say this without a bit of irony, but that was honestly painful to go through. Just the audio mixing was so biased. Jump scares were so loud. I could not hear anything over them. The game at the end obviously realized itself was a joke and just started hammering them into you. I'm not going to do this game the favor of summarizing all of it at the end here because I think I did a pretty good job slamming just about every aspect of the game during it. The game's not worth $7.50. In fact, I'd say the very opposite. This is almost like into a social experiment that you should be paying people to sit through. The game unashamedly tries to ape five different tropes of the horror genre fails horrifically at all of them. Even something as simple as PT feels offensively bad. The twist of the game is that your character is actually dreaming. Shock horror after a car crash where they were drinking, which is given away in the very start of the game. And then the rest of the game is they're not actually dead. Nothing in this game is redeemable. There's nothing to work with. The, in fact, no, I take that back. The part of the game that interests me the most is hilariously the absolute gall of whoever designed that horror house. It doesn't make any sense. I've never seen a game try and use sound in that way where it plays a sound on loop until you get to a certain other area of the haunted house. Then you have to wait 35 seconds or so for it to select the next sound, or then you have to go to the next area that, and with no indication. The sound isn't directional, it's just there, and it just means go to the next area. It's just unbelievable. All five of the things that this game attempted to go for completely failed, and it's on Steam for $7.50. Actually, I didn't check the release date. Let's, uh, let's leave on the greatest joke of all. This was released on the 16th of August, 2020. Not that the developer is going to care, but I'm going to, after all this, chuck a good old review on the Steam Store page, where I'll actually summarize the segments of the game and exactly why they're so bad. I don't think the developer is going to learn anything from it, but it'll make me feel better. And at this point, I deserve to feel a little better after that. Um, thank you for the people who have actually managed to sit through this entire thing with me. That is absolutely appalling. Let's hope I never have to do this one again. We did finish it, so it shouldn't shouldn't come back to bite me. Hope you guys have a good one. Do not have too much fun without me. See yous.